a human dream. Powered by solar energy. To the edge of space. This unique aircraft is 8.5 meters long and has a wingspan of just under 25 meters. It weighs 450 kilograms and it's covered with solar panels. It will be the first manned solar power airplane to penetrate the stratosphere. Raphael Dijon, the founder and pilot of the project, took us to the base where he's training. We are uh, making the, the energy for this engine with solar cells and this can uh, provide energy to try to go to the edge of space. Flying to the edge of space means both the plane and the pilot must overcome extreme conditions. The success of this mission paved the way for electric solar aviation to the frontier of space. It would also allow the collection of measurements that have never been carried out before, at an altitude very rarely reached, and in a totally clean way. Okay, super. See, it is not easy to drive an airplane, especially in solar-powered one. But as Mr. Raphael told me that his goal is to demonstrate that the current technology offers the possibility to achieve above and beyond what fossil fuels offer. We want with this project to demonstrate that you can achieve something that you cannot achieve with fossil fuel. With solar energy, we can uh, uh, go to the edge of space. Uh, we can do amazing things with uh, renewable energy. Raphael has compared this flight to the mythical Icarus who flew too close to the sun and crashed to the ground. He's fully aware of the risks of the flight. Switzerland is home to numerous innovators and adventurers, and China is working hard to promote solar power energy as a replacement for fossil fuels. And there are huge potential for collaborations between the two countries. Hona, CGTN, Peyan, Switzerland.